Trevor, you guys partnered with some downtown builders recently to be one of their preferred lenders. So tell us why you think the downtown area and um, these areas where PSW is developing are expanding. So, like I said before, San Antonio is my backyard. I grew up here. I actually went to school right there downtown at Central Catholic High School. And uh, I saw... I saw when I came back from college how much growth downtown has been. You've seen the Pearl District and now Dingawitty, uh, Government Hill, Mackey Park, um, Olmos, Terrell. Um, there's a real push to come back inside the city, and that's both by the people that live in this town as well as the local government. Um, they have they've put up a lot of great incentives to bring builders into town to build some some new homes because what you had was what what was pre existing was. Um, not not in the best shape. So they started renovating those, but they also started building new, and that's where PSW is kind of coming in here, is, is taking these old lots that were either really tall grass or run-down buildings, knocking them down and putting something really cool up in there. And being a 28-year-old man that's single, man, that's a place to be. So Trevor, talk to us about why the, um, why the face that PSW is building uh, single-family homes instead of condos make such a difference for financing purposes. The reason that it's better off in these areas is because of the way they're classified. Uh, condos kind of got a bad rap after 2008, and they really cracked down on who they would allow condo-wise to get approved with either FHA or conventional Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac financing. So PSW's product doesn't fall under any of those rules. And what those rules are is you have to have a certain amount of occupancy um, before it can get insured. So if it's not insured, a lender's not going to lend um, on that property because they don't know if their asset's backed up. So can you tell me about, just um, from Cache's uh, great customer service standpoint, what is like a great, do you have a success story that kind of comes to your head? We've got a real good one, actually. Uh, we had we had a gentleman, a younger family, um, that were looking to buy their first home, and they had they had some some issues to start out with, and, and uh, credit-wise and money-wise and everything like that, really didn't know how to navigate through the process, because it is, it's scary when it's your first time. Um, I see it every day, and it's still kind of scary. Um, so we were able to, we were able to number one, help them clean up their credit. We were able to tell them where they needed to be, um, income wise and payment wise and, and where to get, where to get their life at, to be able to afford a home. And we're looking, we're looking at the big picture on that side is we want these, these folks to be able to truly afford it, not just qualify for it, but truly afford it and be able to live happily with a payment. So we gave them a we gave them a price range. We gave them a list of things to do and and touched up with them every couple of weeks. Say how's everything going? And they were truly truly engaged. And after only three months, they got everything in order to where they needed to be, and they were able to buy a home. Um, and that's that's neat because I actually see this gentleman quite often. He he's a server at one of the local restaurants, and and yeah. just being able to see him and know that we got him into the home is is awesome.